once more in America. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States. Thank you, but how can we believe in the freedoms he's preaching about when we have to go out here and get a dollar fifty a day to maintain a home? Every day I waste all my potential prosperity trying to get ahead and catch up this dollar fifty a day that my old knees, my messed up neck because of where all the miles I had to spend walking around before I had a place. I'm wore out. That dollar fifty a day is just taken away from my prosperity and it is the Congresses, these people right here, these three people right here, to be sure I have prosperity. And as long as they keep a third party called an insurance company adding to the burden that I have to pay to the town, the county, of in this state of North Carolina just to live here, I can't accumulate an RV, I can't accumulate a backhoe, I can't accumulate anything because I gotta keep servicing this dollar fifty a day to them and it costs me ninety dollars in utilities to maintain my vehicle, my my insurances that I have to pay a ransom to insurance companies before I can even make a penny through my daily commute. That is a problem. That is where we cannot just come together and feel this sense of renewal because we don't like being forced to go out here and service a debt of a dollar fifty a day to buy somebody else's children what they need before my children. If we want prosperity, we want to be able to own something without it being taxed to death here at our homes. Not in a bank account overseas, not in a stock market, not here, not not in insurance stock, but right here in our homes without taxation. I don't care to pay fucking... Excuse me, I'm, I'm stopped. Yeah, it's coming.